we hear about it every winter, carbon monoxide poisoning. It was late last month when about a dozen people got sick in Arcadia, which is in the western part of the state, because of carbon monoxide. Even some first responders on the scene needed treatment. Now, we thought it would be a good idea to let you know about the dangers of the gas and how to protect against it. Lieutenant Nick Craig with the Green Bay Metro Fire Department joins us now with some tips. Morning, Nick. Good morning. Uh, first, why don't you tell me a little bit about um, how we can protect ourselves from carbon monoxide poisoning. The only true way you can protect yourself from carbon monoxide poisoning is, is get yourself a carbon monoxide detector. You can't smell carbon monoxide, you can't see it. So if you don't have that detector and you have an issue in your home, there's no way that you're going to know about it until it's too late. Since February of 2011, carbon monoxide detectors have actually been required as part of state law to be on every level of the home that has a fuel burning appliance. Hmm. One of the questions that we most often get asked about de these detectors is where in the world do I place them? There's different types. The one on the left there that you're looking at is a plug-in type. You can plug that into any, any outlet. That can be near the floor. It can be up a little bit higher. And then the one on the right there is, is a combination carbon monoxide detector and smoke alarm. That can be placed on the ceiling or the wall. Big thing with looking for carbon monoxide detector placement is get out your owner's manual. Take a look at the manuals and see where the manufacturer recommends that you place them. So, um, you know, and I had one that used to chirp. I mean, it chirped just like a, a smoke detector. Does that mean that I have to replace the batteries? Uh, a chirp in any type of detector, smoke or carbon monoxide, means either it needs a battery replaced or there's something wrong with the sensor. And since 2007, carbon monoxide detectors actually have an end of life alarm built into them. They'll start chirping to let you know that they need to be replaced. That's why it's a good idea to put the date on the detector so you know when it's, it's time to replace it. Oh, I, I guess a lot of people didn't realize that they expire though. I mean, that's interesting. Yeah, it's, it's not something that was widely publicized, but luckily this year detectors are finally going to that 10 year mark just like smoke alarms are, so they're going to last a little bit longer. How many uh, calls have you guys received this year uh, because of carbon monoxide poisoning? This year we've received a little over 60 calls, and a lot of those calls have had higher levels of carbon monoxide in the home. And any, anything that burns a fuel, your furnace, your water heater, those things can produce high levels of carbon monoxide if they're not working properly. All right, Lieutenant Nick Craig, thank you very much for, for answering some of our questions, and we'll check back with you next hour with more, okay? Thank you. Thanks.